Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to create a crucial element for dashboard and web apps that is data table. And as we are going to make a dashboard, the data is imperative element for that. And to showcase it in a best way is data tables. With hope you are, you can create advanced data very easily and you will make your work very simple. And with hope you are, you can use it for the particular task without thinking of inconvenience in design and also you can get bug free updates for the data tables. So in this video, we will be having fun creating the simple data table and going further with the advanced data table and knowing the features like column hidden feature and input search data table. So I'm Asad Sikh from Iconic Design and let's start this video by seeing the amazing and the smartest way to get rid of these unwanted things with the help of Hope UI. So let's hop in. So primarily we will be creating a simple data table in the new blank page and we will be adding a search panel for which you can search any entry of the data. And in the end of this video we will see our data table will be looking something like this. So to do that, firstly, we will be creating a custom data table in this blank page. So we will take a new division with class row and in this row we will be having column. So take another division with the class column log 12. As we need 12 columns in it and in, the, in that we will need a card. So for that we will take another division with the class equals to card. And inside the class, we need a body for so that we will be taking a new division with class equals to card body. In this card body, we will be having a table for that. We will take another division with class equals to table response. And now we will create a table just like this. For that, take a table tag and add the ID equals to data table. We have given the ID as data table because we have written the JS of the data in that particular table following ID. Then we will add the class equals to table. As we need the table like structure and to toggle between the data, we need data toggle equals to data table. In this way, we have created a table structure for firstly in the table, we have the head, so we will use the head tag. And in that we will take the tr and in that we will take the multiple header. So this will be the name, then position, then office, start and salary as they are the header of our data table. Now after the head, we will add the table body, taking the tag T body. I will add the data in this. As we need the multiple row in our body, I have already created data that will be added here. And lastly, we have the table footer. We will take the T foot tag. We need to create a TR and we will have multiple TH the same way we had it in the table head, adding the name, position, office, age, start date salary and etc in this way our data table has been created so now let's check our output so here you can see the data table and here is the search panel where you can search any data of entry now let's move to a feature column hidden data table and we have the data table which looks something like this and the functional main functionality of this data table is when you click on any button on the column it will just hide Aid and it become easier for the user to filter it out. It's just like a filter system to the data table. And so to do that, firstly we will go to table data.hbs and then we need to change the ID data table to column hidden data table. And we will also change the data toggle to data table column hidden. We have changed the data toggle because we have written the JS of hidden column in the data table column hidden. Now to toggle between the column, we need to create some button. So for that, we will create the new division in that. We will take toggle column and for creating a number, we will take a tag in that class. Toggle with btn, btn outline primary. We have created btn because we need button and btn outline primary because we need a primary button that will add data column equals to zero. This is the index of the first column and the name of the first column is name. Similarly, we need to create another button. So I will take the first button and we will change the name to position and the data column will change the data column to be one because the index of the another column is one. In the same way, we will add the third button and another and change the data column to two as the index of this column is also be two and we will change the name to the office. Then again, the same process to change the name and index ending up to how much column you need. 
once it's done we will run code and we can see the changes have the five toggle button and we will click on the position the position column will be hidden and the same will be age and office if we want the column that is hidden back we will click on the toggle button again and it will just return back this is a simple way you can create column header label. Now we'll change our column header data table to input search data table. This data table will look like uh, this having the search button at the bottom of every column. So you can search a specific element in each column. This is a very useful feature. You can add it to your data table as the data table become more advanced and it will be useful for heavy data. So to do that, firstly, we will remove division that we have created for the hidden column. Then we will change the ID to input data table. And we will change the data toggle to column filter. And we are going to filter the elements from the column. Now to add the search at the footer, we will take the th and add the title name, same as we have changed the title of next th to the position in the following. We will change the title to the office, age, start date and salary as well. Now let's see the results. Here we have search in the footer for each column. Now if you search the ASH in the name column and we get the result accordingly. Now if you want to search by the position, we will search AWC account and you will get the accountant in the position. We can similarly search the same in the office like searching SAN, we will get San Francisco and get the data accordingly. In the same way, you can search in every column and make your data more advanced. And this is all about data tables in Hope UI. You saw we have started with the simple data table and we just converted it into advanced data by doing some simple steps. And there is a similar video regarding the charts in Hope UI. You can also check it out by just clicking on this i button. And there are more videos regarding Hope UI to guide you through your project to make your work more efficient. And if you are not a professional and not looking to buy Hope UI Pro, you can just check out our free version that is open source dashboard Hope UI and just play around with it. So till then, like this video, subscribe, click this bell icon and share this video to your friends and our developer and community so they can also take advantage of this future of admin UI. Till then, hasta la vista.